Well, it looks like things are about to get very rough for Warner Media. As we already knew, Warner Media was in talks of already getting ready to cut people. Well, AT&T's already started it with more than 8,700 jobs being just completely cut. They are slashing and heads are rolling. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So AT&T, they're chopping. Bodies are hitting the floor. Heads are rolling. I mean, they're starting to pull it all out. 8,700 workers have lost their jobs already. And looking at it, they are also cutting off corners here. Warner Max itself, its division, is gone. Completely consolidated. I mean, look, Warner Media is about to get smacked heavily with layoffs. It's already bad enough with AT&T. It's about to get much worse. Companies like Rooster Teeth, we're going to look into that. <laughs> They're probably going to get chopped. Now, if that company goes, let's be real, nothing of value will be lost. So, that's a fact. But Crunchyroll may also be on the chopping block. They're already planning to sell and get rid of them. They've been trying to do that even before the pandemic happened. So we're going to look into what this could mean for Rooster Teeth, Crunchyroll, DC. We're going to talk about all that. AT&T cuts more than 8,700 workers in the third quarter amid the pandemic. AT&T is making some deeper cuts with its employee base. The Dallas Telecommunications and Media Company shrunk the number of employees by 8,720 people in the third quarter to less than 235,000. According to information on its investor relations website, the cuts represented a reduction of about 3.6% of the company's total workforce. Oh, that is rough. I feel bad for the people who lost their jobs. I really do. I mean, that's, you know, that's always rough for that to happen. I mean, it is. And I mean, you know, with a company that <laughs> you know, like AT&T, that's $152 billion in debt. They're going to cut corners as much as they can to try to lower that debt. Get ready, because if you think anything's safe, nothing is safe. I'm serious, nothing is safe. That is under AT&T and Warner Media. At more than 8,700 cuts, that's easily the biggest reduction in workers since the time of the 2018 acquisition of Time Warner, now Warner Media. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's rough. I mean, they've been making cuts for a while now. And they thought that joining together would try to cut down on both their debt, and that just added to more of it. It's just, <laughs> it's been a mess. AT&T, amid the pressures of the pandemic and the sputtering company, has been looking to bring down cost and debt on its balance sheet, even as it's also looking to invest in more promising areas. Yeah, which, you know, they're just really wanting to invest in HBO Max. That's their priority. The company has been decreasing employee roles and reducing stores as it looks to use tools to slow spending. The transformation of our business continues, CEO John Sankey said during a call with analysis this week. According to a transcript of the event on the company's website, the organization has been working to reduce cost, streamline distribution, remove redundancies, and simply process and support functions. I mean, look, nothing is safe. That's the thing. Anything that is under AT&T and Warner Media, anything that they own, is not safe. Whether it be popular or not, it is not safe. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. And cuts are nothing new for AT&T, with many coming prior to 2020. Well, get ready. That means there's going to be more cuts next year also. That's already telling. That's pretty bad. It's been shrinking its total employment every quarter since the Time Warner deal, when the total was about 273000 in the third quarter of last year. A sizable cut came with nearly 6,000. While AT&T is making all these cuts and whatnot, I will say this, I don't think they know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get that they're trying to reduce debt, but there are so many things that they've tried to get rid of in the past, and it is kind of telling they don't know what they're doing. I mean, look at this. Warner Max restructures as Warner Media consolidates film production. Here's the thing. Warner Max was announced in February of this year. And it is gone. It didn't even have a chance to do anything. I mean, they were making films, but nothing got out. So, guess what? It's done. It's over with. It's been consolidated. It is gone. Warner Max, a feature arm of HBO Max that was to be jointly run by HBO Max and Warner Bros. is being phased out. That means it's gone. I mean, AT&T, they just cut it. It didn't even have a chance to get the movies out that they were working on. It is gone. And they were just like, oh, but we're going to close the doors because we got to save money. I mean, they just chopped it. I mean, yeah, you know, 
thing of it is, is that theaters are not doing well because what they were going to do with this was originally they were going to have the movies be on HBO Max first, and then they were going to send it into movie theaters. Well, considering what's going on with movie theaters, you know, being closed and whatnot, yeah, it's gone. It's done. I mean, and this didn't even get a chance. It's over. This is how bad it is to be a company under Warner Media and AT&T because heads will roll. Does not matter whether you're doing good or not. Doesn't matter whether you're new or not. Anybody could go at any time. It's insane. And like I said, this was announced in February of 2020. <laughs> it didn't even get a chance to spread its wings and fly. It just got gunned down immediately. This is what I mean by AT&T being a cutthroat company. They will slash anything at any moment. And I mean, you know, this is why any company under AT&T and Warner Media is not safe. Doesn't matter whether they're brand new. Doesn't matter whether they're doing good or not. It does not matter. They will get chopped just for AT&T to save money. This is why myself and many others that have talked about this, you know, we stated, you know, if anybody is an employee at Warner Media, keep your resume up. That's not a joke. That's not out of spite. That's being serious. I mean, look, companies like Rooster Teeth last year, for example, twice, one of them not even recorded in March, had lost employees. Then again, with all the bad publicity that's going around that company, because, I mean, let's be real, <laughs> Rooster Teeth is a trash company. It's not what it used to be, and it never will be what it used to be ever again. It's gone. They've gone woke. They've done whatever they could to try to make sure that they lose money, because you can clearly tell they don't care about it. And I mean, look, bad publicity around a company that AT&T owns you better believe they're not going to keep it around, because why would you keep around a company that's going to bring you a bad reputation? You see what I mean? You know, and that's the thing. They keep just losing out on money anyways. You have Ruby that's falling apart, for example. You know, it's been doing terribly for a while. And then, of course, you have Red vs. Blue. Yet again, terrible. Especially when you have founding members that are gone from the company, you know, and then the company went woke and is now going broke. Oh, yeah, no, it's not going to stick around. And when you look at news, what's the first thing you find? The first thing you'll look up is anything basically bad. All the scandals that keep coming out, all the terrible things that keep going on this company, the media have now taken a bite out of Brewster Teeth. You know, they finally talked about the stuff that myself and many other people have been talking about for over a year now, almost two years now, in fact. I mean, when you look at it, Rooster Teeth is getting exactly what they deserve. Now, when it comes to Crunchyroll, so got to take a look at that. Crunchyroll itself has almost been sold off, and that was before the pandemic. So mind you, it wasn't the pandemic that led to this. It was before that. AT&T was looking to sell them prior to the pandemic. I mean, that's already not a good sign. And even Sony didn't want them. And, you know, they could have got them for $1.5 billion, but that's way more, obviously, than what Crunchyroll is worth. But still, nothing is safe. DC themselves, I mean, you look at the comic book industry, it has been collapsing. It has been just destroying itself. So, you know... When you look at it, the assets, you know, the characters, you know, yeah, HBO Max can make movies and shows off of that, so Warner Media and AT&T will definitely make more stuff in terms of their characters, but the comic books, you know, they're not doing well. They haven't been selling well for a long time, for years, so <laughs> they'll probably chop them. I mean, that's coming eventually anyways. I, you know, most people see that. And then when you look at it, even the president of CNN, you know, fake news, clown news network, <laughs> right? Even he is said to potentially get cut as well. I mean, you know, look, <laughs> when you look at it, AT&T, they're chopping people. I mean, nobody is safe. There are no sacred cows. And that's exactly what John Stanky said himself, that nothing was sacred, that anything could go. And that's exactly what we're watching, basically. And, you know, some people didn't even find out about the layoffs that worked under Warner Media or AT&T until after deadline had this article come out talking about it. I mean, that's it's really bad. And now, you look at this, it's about to get rough with 8,700 people being sliced. You know, the apocalypse is coming for Warner Media. It's coming. And, you know, we probably won't see a company like Rooster Teeth last for much longer, if I had to say. And there are many other companies that are going to take a very, very heavy 
hit. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the news videos will be released as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow can always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.